Now this painting is a good example of both using different types of brush stroke and also putting a painting away to look at it at a later date. So this particular painting is, I can't remember what the title is now, the, the painting is, what do you call it? We Roam the Vibrant Valley. And this was inspired by a flock of sheep in a field just next to the River X, only about half a mile from my house. And the X Valley is lined by hills which are covered in trees. So in terms of the the painting techniques that I use, the different brush strokes that I mentioned before, you can see that sky is painted with almost completely horizontal brush strokes. The tree lined the tree lined hills were painted by rolling the brush, so using very fluid. Uh, this is interactive acrylic, so a lot of water in the paint, but rolling the brush across the paper to create this text textured effect. So it's very quick, but I feel fairly effective. Similar for the bushes at the edge of the field. Back to horizontal brush strokes for this kind of middle distance field here, the green and the yellow intermixing. Then you can see for the foreground, I've used a different technique. So kind of upward brush strokes um, going against the bristles. So those four or five different techniques immediately create different textures throughout the painting as we move from sky to background to middle distance to foreground. And then the sheep I've painted in a slightly different technique again. For example, this animal lying down here in the foreground, you can see I've kept the brush work fairly smooth, um, describing the contours of the animal. And um, you know, there's, there's some detail there, but it's quite considered and economical. And then I've gone into a little bit more detail and a bit more drawing with these other two animals. And in all three cases, and in fact, throughout the landscape, the colours are, you know, quite extended beyond reality. So the distant trees weren't blue, but they were a very blue green. So I just went with blue. And then in the foreground, this red wasn't here, but it's it's a pop of warmth which helps bring the bottom of the painting closer to us. And so, you know, the depiction of the animals and the painting as a whole was, was quite stylized. Um, and I wasn't quite sure if I'd finished it or whether I needed to do, to do more. So I actually put this painting away for several months, actually, in a folder and then came back to it and looked at it with fresh eyes. And in this particular case, I decided I'd done enough and I wanted to keep it as it was. So uh, my two key tips really from this painting are to vary your brushwork, give you different textures and create key regions within a painting. So they're visually distinct regions. Uh, and then the other key tip is to just put your work away and don't look at it for weeks or months. Uh, and then come back and look at it again and you'll have a much more objective opinion of the work compared to when you've just finished it. Uh, so there we go, that's that painting uh, complete. So sheep in the Devon countryside, one of my favourite uh, subjects. Thanks very much for watching.